What's up everyone? It's good to see you back for the fifth part of this series, where in today's video we're going to be creating a page collection system. We can walk into some sort of part and when we walk, into, when we touch the part, the part will disappear and we have an int value as well and when we uh, walk into the part, it will increase and when we reach a certain value, we can uh, make a function commit or pretty much anything, we can do anything. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do that and before we do begin, I just wanted to say that this part is going to be quite long so what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to split one part between two videos if that makes sense so one part between two videos and yeah it's going to be the first video is going to be just making the part and walking into the part it destroys and then if we uh, collect a certain amount of parts then we can make a function happen so yeah it's going to be quite easy and then the second part is when we uh, walk into that part we can make a GUI appear like you collected a part something like that anyway it's gonna be quite interesting and enjoyable and so yeah I hope you enjoy and without further ado let's go okay so to begin what we're going to do is just we're gonna get a part from the workspace and uh, we want to make this look as well as we can like a piece of paper an A4 piece of paper so we're just gonna I'm just gonna make it look a bit like this and then yeah we've got our piece of paper there it's extremely simple just like that okay so now I'm going to I'm gonna name it so what I'm gonna name it I'm gonna name it uh, paper I'm gonna call it piece of paper one there we go there's our piece of paper one and then we're going to add a decal and we're going to add a paper a paper decal so um, if we go to uh, the script actually no if you look on screen right now you can uh, just copy uh, the link I've got for the decal so I've got it right here so just copy it on screen and paste it into the texture and there you go, your piece of paper is texture is there. And uh, yeah, there's our piece of paper there. So now we can begin writing the script. So inside of the piece of paper one, just press plus and go to a script and get rid of that hello world. Okay, so now we can begin writing the script. We need to get the touch part first, piece of paper. So local local paper is equal to script.parent. So this the the parent is the piece of paper one parent of the script because it's above it and then we're going to create our function so function on part touched and then in the parameters we're going to do other parts if you're wondering why we have the parameters the other part is pretty much the thing that touches the piece of paper so in this case it should hopefully be me and one common mistake is we forget to um, uh, see if the humanoid is actually touching the part because as you can see right now the piece of paper is touching is touching the uh, floor if anything touches it it's gonna do what we ask it to do So first of all, we need to check if it's the humanoid is touching it. And if it's humanoid, then we can make it disappear. So lo our local parent is equal to other part dot parent. And then local humanoid is equal to parent colon find first child, which is a humanoid. So find first child which is a humanoid we're literally just finding the humanoid uh, and then if humanoid if it's a humanoid then we're going to part colon or actually paper colon destroy so if we touch it and then if we touch it then it will destroy the, well then it will commit an action let's just say that Okay, now we want to add an int value. This int value is going to be very important because uh, how's this going to work? We're going to, if we reach a certain number, so every time we uh, press, a, I'm going to duplicate the part. Every time we press a part, this int value is going to go up by one. And when, we, and when we reach a certain number, something is going to happen. Okay, so we've got our value here. Let's just call it papers collected. 
just like that. And then we're gonna write here, workspace or game dot workspace, not game dot parent dot papers collected dot value plus equal one. So every time we touch the, uh, the paper, it's gonna destroy the paper, but at the same time, it's gonna increase the int value by one. And then we're gonna go here. I'm gonna say if game dot workspace dot papers collected dot value is equal equal to three, then we're going to print it worked soon. So let me explain to you what's going on. We've got the paper here. This is the paper. Then we've got the function on part touch other part. Uh, then we got we're getting the parent of the other parts, which is we're trying to find the humanoid. And then we're getting the humanoid here. So parent, uh, which is the other part dot parent. So the other part that's touching it and the parent. And then we're going to find the first child and it has to be, which is a humanoid. If it's humanoid, so if we touch it, then the paper is gonna destroy and our int value down here, the value is gonna increase by one. Now, we're gonna duplicate this three times. Not yet, but so we can walk into three pieces of paper. And each time we uh, walk into one paper, the value will increase by one. So eventually we'll have three. Uh, free the value will be free so if the value is three then we're gonna print it worked soon now the last thing we need to do is actually call the function so paper dot touched colon connect to on part touched and just like that it should work so now what we can do is we can duplicate this just like that just like that and then we're going to call this piece of paper 2 and piece of paper 3. That should be 1 actually. One sec, let's just move this to 2 and then uh, this is going to be 1. Okay, so now what should happen is when we press play, uh, we're going to walk into the part and when we walk into it, it's going to disappear and the int value is going to increase by one. And when the int value value, oh my gosh, when the int value, the value of the int value reaches three, it's going to print. So workspace, let's go to workspace and then papers collected. Let's have a look at this value here. And let's walk into this part. So what should it, yeah, it's going to just destroy and then the int value is going to increase by one. All right, there we go. So that's worked. Now let's try this one. That's worked again. And now, if we look in the output, it should say it worked. There we go. Look at that. It worked. Zoo. Perfect. So now we can we can replace it worked zoo with anything we want. But what I'm going to do is actually uh, to add a little bit of effect. We're going to go back into the script. I'm going to do local paper scrunch is equal to game dot workspace and to get the paper uh, scrunch just go to audio here and you can just search up paper paper sound I don't know paper sound it's not loading for me but it should appear there for you I've already got my sound once again I'll put the ID of it up screen paper rustle it's called and yeah here we go it's just sound ids right there and if you can't find it then just make a go to workspace create a sound a sound and then just put the id in there so sound paper scrunch game dot workspace and then uh we're going to skimble workspace dot scrunch dot paper rustle and then because we've said here when we touch the uh if, if the humanoid touches it, then we're gonna commit this. We're gonna add one more line here. I'm gonna say paper scrunch colon play. And this is a function right here. If it's got this kind of mu moving purple cube next to it, then you know it's a function. So now what should happen is, play this. Can I play this? If I play this. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. There we go. How was that? That was so, in my opinion, that was very nice. That was very, very nice. And 
As you can see, the game's already starting to come together a little bit. Except for that part, which is... Anyway. Yeah, the game's starting to come together now, and I think it's looking really good. We just need to make the monster and all of that. As you can see, I've added a dummy over there. You can see that's from last episode. But, um, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, the next sector of this part should be coming out very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Hope that helped. And, yeah.